Texas. I'm on site again today for just a couple of hours. Things are still kind of thrown up in the air with the coronavirus situation going around, but I am still trying to squeeze in time here. Got a couple of ceiling joists stained. Uh, this one, the number two one, I did yesterday. I just did this one today. Uh, so really all I got done today was I masked this one off and masked this one off with the blue tape and and got one of them stained up. And now I'm gonna start heading back because I gotta make dinner for River. Uh, work's going slowly, but I'm happy just that work is continuing at all at this point. Uh, you know, there's a lot of challenges and I'm, I'm thankful that I at least have some things that I can do. Uh, I'm not hearing back from the plumber. Uh, the electrician is obviously waiting on them. Uh, a lot of my building supplies, like I mentioned yesterday, cabinets, uh, interior doors, even lumber, a lot of that stuff might get held up, but uh, I'm, I'm happy that I, I bought ahead on as much material as I, I kind of reasonably could, and I do have plenty of stuff that I can work on. Uh, one thing that uh, is sort of irritating is, if you guys recall, the whole situation with Home Depot refusing to take back some stuff that they said that they wouldn't have a problem taking back. Uh, the last time that I got stuff from Home Depot, I was pretty judicious about not overbuying, and now I'm realizing, you know, if that experience had not happened, I would have bought a lot more material and I'd be in a better situation at the moment because I'd know that I'd have plenty of material for the couple of extra projects that I, uh, I have to work on. So it's, uh, I don't know, the, the whole project has just been this perfect storm of all these things interacting with each other in really negative ways, but uh, but I am happy that I still have stuff to do, I got more staining to do, and as soon as the weather outside gets uh, decent and it's not all muddy, uh, you know, I, I've got an entire shed to build up back there, and, and we can't move in here until the shed's done because the shed has to hold the solar hot water panels and we're not allowed to move in until we have a full solar hot water system here, so uh, there's plenty to do. It's actually a, a situation where something that's bad and stupid, the idea that we can't move in until our solar hot water system is put in to save the earth, but it requires more commuting back and forth, so it actually is kind of productive, but the silver lining is, is that it gives me more things to do while I'm waiting for other stuff like the plumber and everything, so I'm happy I have things to do. It's getting nice out, and the windows open all day. <laughs> Thanks for watching.